What's up guys, DC19 through Gaming Tech. I haven't done a live a, uh, vlog in a long time or a face cam. Um, but um, this is going to be a, as you can see in the title, uh, G, uh, we use CPU, GPU, and reasons why I don't feel that Grand Theft Auto is going to make it on the Wii U. It possibly can, but I'm going to tell you why it may be an issue. Um, but let's get into uh, the CPU stuff really quick. So. Um, I'll leave in the description as, uh, as usual so you guys can check out the links. I actually got a bunch of links up here for you guys to check out. Uh, some old school stuff and all the other good stuff. Alright, so a well-known hardware hacker by the name of uh, Markan uh, has published uh, the Wii U CPU and GPU specifications. Markan says that the Wii U's processor is, has clock speed at 1.2 gigahertz, which is slower than what we, we thought it was, um, which, rough, which is roughly uh, less than half, uh, less than half the speed of the PS3 and the Xbox 360. So slower than the Xbox 360 and PS3. But the we, but the GPU apparently runs at five point. Uh, what is it? 550 uh, megahertz, which is the same speed of the PS3 and slightly faster than the Xbox 360. Now, I'm just gonna say this real quick about the GPU. That is a side on itself. It's it's better, regardless. You can have a GPU that is not clocked high enough at, at a higher of uh, megahertz, but if its architecture and functionalities of it is better, you're going to get better quality, you're going to get better textures, you're going to get better uh, shadows, you're going to get better pixels, shaders, you name all of that. The video card comes with all of that. It doesn't need to be clocked super high. Like take for example, you have a standalone uh, uh, NVIDIA card that's clocked at 900 megahertz. When you get the dual core GPU version of that card, it is the the, the clock speed of both of those CPUs uh, GPUs is lower. It's about 700 or 9 or 800 clock lower, but that doesn't affect it. It actually still gives it better because it's two of them. But at the same time, if the GPU has more shaders than the than the than the old C, than the old consoles, the GPU alone, regardless the, to the matter of fact, it doesn't matter. It's better than next gen con than the old the old consoles right now. It's there's no there's no if hands about it. There's no fighting. There's no whatever. There's no fanboyism. The the GPU is better than what's inside the Xbox 360 and PS3. That's it's the end there. But the CPU on the other hand, the CPU may be a GPU GPU which is basically a CPU with a built-in graphics chip on it, which is the same thing as like an AMD card, but the AMD card with an AMD GPU together runs a lot uh, seeming it runs powerful it overclocked it is awesome because the cpu doesn't just process information but there's an issue there if your processor is clocked slower that means transfer to memory to motherboard to everything else to transferring out if those those speeds are slow that's brain to heart not connecting fast enough that means your heart's not beating as it, as seamlessly as supposed to it's not getting the information it needs to. The same thing with moving your fingers, same thing with starting a car, all that. The, the transfer rate between them is not fast enough. Now, real quick before I continue on, there's an article on Kotaku where it says, according to the PC perspective, the, uh, according to a to PC perspective teardown, the Wii used two gigs of DDR3 RAM provided by Samson. A user Outstrong on, on the Beyond Forum says this means that the memory runs maximum at 17 gigabits per second, uh, while current gen Xbox 360 runs at 24, uh, 22.4 gigabits per second. That's that's that the higher is better. Um, plus ED RAM, but the Wii U has more ED RAM than the Xbox 360. Now going on, the PS3 runs 2.56 gigabits per second main memory while uh, B, uh, BW plus 2.4 gigabits per second graphics memory with no ED RAM. Then they have an actual uh, actual video card to show you the difference between consoles and, uh, and PC. Uh, a GTX 5, uh, 680 has one point, uh, 192.2 gigabits per second. So just imagine that and number of difference. It's basically night and day between console and, and PC. That's basically what that's saying. But continuing on, 
being that the memory is slow uh, compared to what the Xbox 360 is, and between the uh, the CPU, being that these these third-party games were built on the Xbox 360, this means that how it was built transfer rate between brain and heart it's not it's not meshing fast enough it's not your blood to brain is not going as it's supposed to it's not at the seeming speed it's supposed to movement of your finger isn't it's not connecting to your brain fast enough that's as boss to employees information is not getting there fast enough so this is the reasons why i feel that third that um Third-party games that was built on the Wii, on the Xbox 360 and PS3, is not going to work better because of how it was designed for those consoles. Now, also on the other hand, the Xbox, the like the PS, like the Wii U, developers have to work the ins and outs to make it run that way for the console. Being that the processor has a GP GPU, which is a processor and GPU again. Now, even though you have all that graphical power. If they're not connecting fast enough, you will have beautiful visuals with less standpoint, uh, with frame, with set frame compared to constant moving objects. A uh, game like Batman Arkham City, I'll go into in a minute, which leads to my next part of the video. Um, they're not, they work, they're not working seamlessly. See what I'm saying? Now, like the PS3, the PS3 was powerful, uh, processor, memory, um, all that stuff, and 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 GPU. It was it was beast, but it was different technology to work on until it was figured out. It worked better. So at that time, um, developers for Xbox 360 and Xbox, the way that they were developing games, they were able to build it from the ground up. But these third party developers aren't doing that anymore. They're not. And being that Xbox is the lead platform to what these third parties developed for, being that the process, the connectivity between processor and memory leaving visuals alone it's not fast enough it's not connecting fast enough regardless of ed ram regardless of gpu those games aren't built on wii platforms now also which is another reason why i say nintendo is being selfish building a console for their games only than the third party now third party has to learn all over again dumbing it down to make it run seamless on the wii u itself so by default the PS3 and Xbox is better by connectivity and brain functionality to workers. But graphical, the Wii U is better. But it doesn't matter because they're not, that Trinity doesn't mesh. So until a game like Bayonetta comes out or another exclusive, it's not going to work that well. I mean, it, until they come out, we won't know if that means, if, if the Wii U is going to be another Wii when that comes out, which really quick, I'm gonna kill that really quick. Um, Nintendo, a lot of people are making these videos saying that, oh, um, Nintendo is gonna be like the next leading power platform and all that other stuff. Real quick, I'm gonna nip that in the bud. And there's no the Nintendo Defense Force over here. Iwata himself says that being first in next gen race is not important, pricing is. Then the article goes on but with Iwata basically saying that they already know that the next gen Xbox and, and Sony platform, PlayStation platform, is going to destroy them in visuals, functionalities, and all that. They already know this. They're worried about price, availability for their consumers. So any Nintendo fan out there talking about the better version, your iWatt already done killed you right there. So stop it. Um, I'm not pointing to anyone directly. I'm talking about everyone making, oh, it's the better version, whatever. And I'm not making direct quotes at you, Trey. I'm just talking about everyone. Um, but um, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, games being in development for a long time on the Wii U. Games being in development for a long time for the Wii U is the reason. Like I was saying before, it was the leading platform on Xbox. So the way it was designed for Xbox and every connectivity, remember, consoles are custom made. So games are custom made for that hardware. See what I'm saying? So a game that was in development for a year ago is going to work shitty on this on the Wii U. It's going to work shitty on the Wii U, regardless, no matter what power the Wii U has or is going to show it on the line, it's going to run shitty on the Wii U. So don't fool yourself or lie to yourself because Madden runs bad, NBA 2K runs bad, Batman Arkham City runs bad, and it, oh my god, Ninja Gaiden runs bad. Um, 
um, what is it? Call of Duty is it runs just like the other consoles. It's not anything better. And then there's still frame rate problems because it's not because of the system not being powerful. It was developed first on one main unit and how their brain connectivity runs with the heart and the workers. You see what I'm saying? All that meshes together. So now what I'm trying to say is a game like Batman Arkham City, beautiful visuals when you're not moving. It looks better. It looks better when you're not moving. But when you're in the city and there's less movement around, there's going to be an issue. I mean, there's not going to be an issue. But as soon as there are multiple characters on screen, your frame rate drops, which means that connectivity to the brain power is not there. So being that GTA 5 is being developed been in development for almost three or five years ago, whatever the hell it is, it's more than a year ago, two years ago, it's been in development for that long. For this gen consoles, it's not even announced for PC yet, which means it's only directed and built on Xbox and PlayStation 3 right now, but the way that their connectivity brain power is, it's already destroying the Wii U because it's developed on those systems. So it coming to the Wii U, imagine that how Grand Theft Auto is with all those moving characters around, with all those cars, all those um, um, ambience, the movement, the, the, the waves, and then the controller comes in and adds features to it. Imagine what happens when you're in the middle of city. You're go it's going to cause an issue. Now, I'm not saying it may not come. For, God, for, for all means, it, it comes and then it sells more. Rockstar starts looking into Nintendo more. They start developing more for it. It starts selling more. By all means, it's fine. But think of it this way. All the games that was in development for a year ago that comes over to the Wii U now that is a third-party unit not built from the ground up causing issues. Now imagine a game like GTA that's built and designed for the brand connectivity, heart, workers, however way you want to put it, that trinity of the sys of these gen consoles right now, the way it is developed for it, it's going to cause an issue on the Wii U. That's why I don't think it's going to come to the Wii U. And if it does, that's fine. I'm not saying it's not. I don't think it should because I can only imagine the problems. Look at how many when multiple people on Ninja Game. Look at how many when there's over 10 or 15 people on Batman. It's terrible. It really is. Assassin's Creed the same way. That's all I have to say. But um, right after this, jump into live stream so we can continue this conversation. Uh, so you can you guys can ask me direct questions and more stuff. Um, and I'll be doing some live gameplay and I will be answering back by voice. So definitely jump in for that. And again, this is Decent 19 through your gaming tech. Uh, signing out. Again, no hate, just straight love and being real. Peace, people.